welcome back so let's start working further first we will remove some line of code remove that text from here now we will remove those classes from here and in here we will remove that now what we will do we will go to word lib and create a new directory in here click upon that new directory and gonna give the name as my home screen now right in this directory you will create a new dart file by the name my home screen it's gonna be in the small alphabet and instead of space we will give the underscore as you guys can see right in here press enter here we are now we will have a stateful widget so in here write st and now we will give the name as my home screen you don't need this key simply tell that and click upon that stateful widget import the library material dot dot here we are now now in here we will just remove that and we will have a scaffold widget in here so you will copy that name from here copy it and go towards the man dot dot in here right in this home past it prices and click upon it import the library all just fine now go towards the home screen dot dot here we are now we will open the emulator so that you guys can see the changes right at a real time now let's keep it down and what we will do now just come here and hit that run man dot dot click upon that play button this will take some time just wait for a while and remember guys right in the home screen is just a empty scaffold right in here now you guys can see the result as I told you already it's an empty scaffold that's why you guys can see that screen right in here total white okay now we will go towards the man dot dot and remove that debug from here so what we will do in here right in the material app you will say debug show check mod banner we will set this to false now press the control s and there we go it's removed now go back to the my home screen dot dot now we will simply go to words and just integrate the google map so what i'll do right in the scaffold you have a body and right in the body you'll say google map google map in here now click upon that google map and import the library as you guys can see that package imported so before that let me just open the popspec.yaml and remember guys we have already imported that dependencies okay make sure import it correctly now we'll go back towards the home screen that one okay in here now in the google map so for integrating the google map we have to provide the initial camera position now we will go and just create that position okay and provide it right in here now before that i'll just wrap this with a widget and we're gonna have in here safe area so basically that safe area widget is used to ensure that the content of your application is not observed by the system UI element such as bar or device specific rounded corners so that's why in here 
we have that and have the Google map as a child and as I told you already the Google map will take the initial camera position so we have to go and just have that position we will be working on that now in here take this down and we'll have that in here static we'll set that and then we'll say camera position as you guys can see the suggestion right at top take that one now we will simply just give the name so the object name that we will choose for the camera position we will make that private so in here underscore and then we will say initial position and now what we will do just to that in here sign camera position which will take the target now we will just provide that the target area okay that we want to show right in the Google map so whenever we will just integrate and show the Google map there will be that kind of specific area position so in here what we will say and the position gonna be right in the latitude and longitude so in here we will say lat and long LNG latitude and longitude now in here braces hearted and comma now right in that we will just provide the specific digit number which will just refers to the latitude and longitude so we will copy that specific latitude and longitude right from the Google map so open the browser and search for Google map you guys can see that Google map search for that open it now I will show you so whenever we will just move like that it will change the position like we change in the camera so the camera position will be changed and according to that the latitude and longitude will also be changed so let's say I'll just have the latitude and longitude of this specific G10 area so come here and right click on this specific area you guys can see that latitude and longitude okay just click upon that and it's copied now we will go back to the Android studio and we will use that so back again in here in here just provide it there we go with the latitude and longitude so that's gonna be the target area whenever we will just integrate the Google map so there will be that specific camera position okay now right after that what we will do we will just provide the zoom property okay so we will give the zoom right to 14 that's a good digit so it will just determine the level of a zoom for the camera view whenever we will change the specific position camera position right in the Google map so that specific digit volume 14 indicate a close view so where more detail of the air will be visible you guys will notice that whenever we will just test the app now in here we will just provide the const modifier in here so the hill line will be gone there we go okay so in here we are done with the initial position simply copy that object name from here and in here right in the Google map initial camera position in here past it here we are okay now we're gonna just scroll down and gonna just call back function by the name on map created as you guys can see so basically that is called when a Google map is created this specific function take a single parameter 
which is an uh, instance of the Google Map controller class. Okay, so in here, what we will do now have the brushes and then have that in here as I told you already Google Map Controller and in here we'll say controller and here go the brushes take this down first we will go and create an instance controller so what we will do in here we will say final so provide that key in here it's gonna be non-changeable then and in here we will say completer as you guys can see in here completer and in here we'll say Google map controller and here make that private gonna keep the name as controller and let's have that in here completer so we are done with the instance now we will go down and use that right in the on map created in here we will say controller dot complete and in here provide the controller edit and semicolon so what is basically going on in here within the function the control variable is being completed with the provided controller instance as we created a while ago so basically it will be completed using a completer as you guys can see right in here that we just created okay so that's why in here it will just complete that and will interact with the Google map whenever it will be created and initialized so let's go ahead now and test the app you guys will notice the changes come here click upon that how to load it so here we are as you guys can see it's just integrating the Google map here we go with the Google map and you guys can see the initial position is Gita as I copied the latitude and longitude right from the Google map and you guys can see the initial position camera position as we provide as a target right in here as a lat and long okay with the zoom 14 and if you guys want to change the zoom control so in here just put it like 10 and then control s or just hold reload it it's gonna then look like that so I think 14 was good because it saw the detail specific area as we just want as a target camera position so 14 will be good then that's fine you can just zoom in and zoom out like that okay all just fine and basically that's all the working how to just integrate the Google map okay as I explained this in detail earlier so basically this video is getting a little lengthy we will end this video right in here and we will be working right in this specific my home screen dot dot right in the next video so see ya then